and welcome to WHRO's Young Storytellers Award Celebration. We're here to recognize our 2024 PBS Kids Writers Contest winners. This year, we had over 300 entries, and our honorees here today are among the best. Now, their stories survived three rounds of judging. Our first and our second rounds led to the top five in each grade level, which then headed to the Blue Ribbon Panel. The Blue Ribbon Panel, they read the stories, they scored them, choosing this year's winners. So let's give our champions a big round of applause. Now, we always receive calls and emails thanking us for having such a wonderful contest. But I want to let you know that this contest is made possible because our senior leaders, our governing board, and our superintendents all know how important it is for children to read and write. And with that said, I would like to introduce to you the president and CEO of WHRO Public Media, Mr. Bert Smith. We got a crowd tonight, don't we? Um, <laughs> hi, everybody. It's so great to be here. Uh, I'm Bert Schmidt, president of the station. And first off, adults, you've got amazing kids. You've got amazing kids. I, I have a lot of fun in my job. I do lots of fun stuff. But I tell you, reading these stories is like the best highlight of my entire year. I just love these stories. And if you haven't, if you missed it, they're all now hung up in the hallway. And they'll be in the hallway at WHRO for the next year. So anybody comes in, they're going to see your stories. So going through these stories, I found really three threads this year. Th friendship, where a lot of the stories. Magic, a lot of you like magic. <laughs> and some of you wrote stories which I believe had to be based on personal experiences. I'm guessing that's the case. Or you have great imaginations. But. So when you look at friendship, we had a number of dogs. You get a lot of animals in these stories. We had dogs. We had Lily and Ethan and Lilas and Cash. We had birds who were friends and rabbits and cheetahs, dolphins. And I got, I got to stop for a second. Dolphins. So I, the staff doesn't know this, but I am really afraid of jellyfish. Just my thing. I'm just afraid of jellyfish. So these dolphin friends see in the water what they think are jellyfish. So I'm already kind of like, oh, no, we got a jellyfish story. Never in my 17 years have we had a jellyfish story. I'm kind of getting nervous now. But <laughs> fortunately, well, not fortunately for the story, because it turned out to be even worse than jellyfish. It was plastic bags. So, But first time with jellyfish in the story. So um, potatoes that were friends. Pica La Cita, I hope I said that right, and mm -hmm. Pocahontas is friends. Um, magic, we had a magic dress, a magic door where Pocahontas showed up. Magic clothes dryer, I love those imaginations. We had one child talking about losing a tooth. I assume that was a personal experience because you're all about the ages where you're losing your teeth. And one who, whose home was sold and they had an oak tree in the back, but they saved an acorn and was able to share that with their family. Um, wonderful stories. What I love most about the stories is they're all optimistic. They're all happy. And that makes me happy to read these stories and what, you know, the optimism that you children put in your, in your stories, the wonderful 
animation, all the drawing that you do. So uh, parents, mom, dad, grandparents, just I hope you hug your kids tonight. They did a wonderful job. Of course, they're all winners. And I want to, on behalf of the entire station and all the judges, and Miss Martha in particular, I want to thank you for what you've done. You've done a great job. So again, thank you all. Thank you so much, Bert, for all of your support. Now, there were so many creative stories, and we could not award all of them and bring them all here today. But I decided that it was important for us to at least acknowledge some of our other winners who were really good and the scores were so close that we decided to name honorable mention winners. So, will you please join me as we recognize and congratulate our honorable mention winners. <laughs> our first honorable mention winner is Lyric Gray Terry. Lyric. <laughs> Lyric story. Lyric is a kindergartner from College Park Elementary in Virginia Beach. Her story, The Ladybug and the Butterfly. Our next honorable mention winner is Gabriella Reddy. <laughs> For her story, Family Fun at the Zoo. She is also a kindergartner at College Park Elementary School in Virginia Beach. Our next honorable mention winner is Charlotte Warma. for her story, Flamingo Contest. Charlotte is a first grader from Larchmount Elementary School. Our next honorable mention winner is Jaden Theus. For his story, The Nicest Horse. Jaden is a first grader from Point O View Elementary School in Virginia Beach. Our next honorable mention, mention winner is Aurora Bernadette Cannon. For her story, Bob the Crocodile. Aurora is a third grade homeschooler from Virginia Beach. Our next win honorable mention winner is Hatley Jones. Hatley wrote a story, The Lady Who Loves Books. And she's a third grade homeschooler from Yorktown. Our next honorable mention winner is Evan Kalordis for his story, Cardinals in the Willow Tree. He's a third grader from North Landing Elementary School in Virginia Beach. Next, we have Edward House, Jr. For his poem, What Happened to the Snow? Edward is a third grade grader from Hampton Roads Academy in Newport News. And our last honorable mention winner is Kaiser Cruz for the story, Best Friend Cleanup Crew. And Kaiser is a fourth grader homeschooler from Chesapeake. Let's get all of our honorable mention winners a hand. Now, each year, our producers like to do something fun with your stories. So I want you to take a look at the screen and see if you can recognize your character. that 
you enjoyed that awesome opening. And now, the time that you've all been waiting for. I would like to introduce WHRO's 2024 first and second place winners. And we're gonna start with our kindergarten. Second place, Hazel Otterberry. Come on up, Hazel. Hazel, can you turn around just a little? There you go. Hazel, mm -hmm. who did you bring um, with you today to help you celebrate? Who did you bring with you? Your parents? Yeah. Hazel's family and friends, wave your hands. Okay. Now, can you tell me what do you like to do for fun? Read stories. Read stories. Okay. Um, now, I have a little question I want to ask you. Now, in your story, you wrote a story about a dog helping to clean up the beach. How does that make you feel when you see trash on the beach? Sad. I agree. I agree, because we should not litter on the beach. Wonderful. Well, you know, you are now an author. How does it feel to be an author? Good. You should be proud because you wrote a wonderful story and the judges really enjoyed reading it. So, I'm gonna put our mic here. And I want to give you your story, your certificate, and your blue ribbon. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, we have our first place winner for kindergarten, Mayuka Kambametu. <laughs> Mayuka, who did you bring with you to celebrate? My mom, my dad, my baby sister, and my uncle and aunt. Okay, wave your hand, family! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> now, what do you like to do for fun? Paint. You like to paint? Wow. Okay. Now, Mayuka, in your story, you wrote a story about a little girl who was kind to and helpful to a little old lady. Do you like to help? Okay. Do you like to show kindness at school? Wonderful. Well, you know what? How do you feel about being a published author? Happy. Happy? Well, you should be happy and proud because you wrote a wonderful story and the judges really enjoyed reading it. So I want to say congratulations and I'm going to give you your story, your certificate, and your ribbon. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go to first grade. Our first grade second place winner is Annie, Annie Havner. <laughs> Annie, who did you bring with you today? My chosen family. Your chosen family. Raise your hand. 
Awesome. <laughs> Annie, what do you like to do for fun? I like to write. You like to write? And I, we can tell that you like to write. Now, in your story, you wrote about a little girl who lost a tooth. And then when it, when it was time to put it under the pillow, she couldn't find it. Which was what, me. What did she... So that's a true story. <laughs> okay. So I want you to tell everyone what you did. What happened in the story? What did you do so that the tooth fairy can know what happened? I wrote her a note that I swallowed my teeth. <laughs> she wrote a note. That's a smart thing. And did it work? Yes. It worked. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, how do you feel about being a published author? Great. Great. Awesome. And you know what? You should feel great because you wrote a wonderful story and the judges really enjoyed reading it. And so, I want to give you... Book came off. Your certificate, your book, and your blue ribbon. Ooh, got it? Thank you so much. First grade, first place is Joy Buwachi. Come on, Joy. How are you doing, Joy? Good. Wonderful. Now, Joy, who did you bring with you today to help you celebrate? My mom, my dad, and my sister and brother. We're in family. <laughs> awesome. Now, what do you like to do for fun? Um, I like to cook with my mom. You like to cook? Oh, are you any good? <laughs> Wonderful. Well, you know what? In your story, you wrote a creative story about a brave and clever dog who saves a woman, woman from a tiger. What did that dog say to the tiger? Um, he, said to, he said to the tiger to go away. Okay. What an amazing dog. Do you have a dog like that? No. You don't? But I do want one. You want one. Mm, okay. <laughs> Well, you know, how do you feel about being an author? Happy. Happy. You should feel happy because you wrote an amazing story and the judges really enjoyed reading it. So what I'm going to do is give you your wonderful book back, your blue ribbon, and your certificate. <laughs> Next, we have second grade, second place, Kira Strickland. <laughs> Kira, who did you bring with you today? My mom, my dad, and my brother, and my sister. Wave your hand, family. Awesome. Awesome. Now, what do you like to do for fun? Um, I like to paint and write and write books. Oh, wow. Perfect we can match. tell. Yes, it's a perfect match. Now, in your story, you wrote a story about a girl who loves to draw. Obviously. Figure that, obviously. <laughs> and one day she draws a picture and it turns into a magical portal, which yeah. leads into an adventure. Now, my question for Kira was going to be, do you love to draw? Yes. <laughs> we already answered that question. Well, I how do you feel about being an author? Um, uh, I can't describe it. It's just amazing, isn't it? I cannot describe it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that means we should look for you next year, right? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> well, Kira, <laughs> you should be proud because you wrote an amazing story and the judges really enjoyed reading it. So, I'm going to give you... <laughs> your book, your certificate, and your blue ribbon. Okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> Next, we have our second grade. First place winner is Avel, Avel, Ava Schubert. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Now, who did you bring with you today? My mom, my sister, my grandma, my granddaddy, and my mom. Raise your hand, family. Awesome. Well, what do you like to do for fun, Ava? I like writing books and reading. Oh, wow, we have a lot of readers. Awesome, I love it. Now, in your story, you wrote a story about being different. There was a bird. He looked different from all the other birds, right? Mm -hmm. And they called him odd. You're odd. But he had a friend in the story, and his friend told him something. What did his friend say to him to make him feel better? He is unique, and that's a good thing. He's unique, and that's a good thing. Well, how do you feel about being an author? Very good. Very good. You should feel good, because you know what? You wrote an amazing story, and the judges really enjoyed reading it. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm going to give you your story back and your certificate and your blue ribbon. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Next. We have our third grade second place. It's Olivia Knaus. <laughs> Olivia, who did you bring with you today? Um, my mom, my uncle, and my aunt, and my brother. Okay. Olivia. What do you like to do for fun? I like to draw. You like to draw? Yeah. Wonderful. And you know, you wrote a story about a rabbit who learns a lesson about not stealing. Now, what did he learn? Mm -hmm. And if he wants something, what should he do? He should ask people to the permission if he wants it. Yes, he's, he needs to ask permission. Yes. How do you feel about being a published author? Um, unexpected. Unexpected. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you know what? You should be proud because the judges really enjoyed your story. And I'm going to give you your story, your ribbon, and your certificate. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. <laughs> Next, we have our third grade first place winner, Annabelle Wilkinson. Annabelle, who did you bring with you today? Um, my dad and my best friend. Oh, wave your hands. Family and friends. Okay. Now, what did you like to do for fun? Draw and read. Draw and read. Okay. Now, your story, 
was about a superhero and his sidekick, which happened to be potatoes. <laughs> and they were saving Fridge City. Do you have a favorite superhero? Uh, um, the ones I wrote about. The ones you wrote about? You know, that makes sense. Well, how do you feel about being an author? I can't describe it. Oh, it's so awesome. Well, you know, um, you should be proud because the judges really enjoyed your story and they enjoyed reading it. So thank you so much for sharing your story with us. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you your story and your certificate and your ribbon. Okay, thank you. Next, we have our fourth grade second place. Sophia Barnes Valdez. Sophia, who did you bring with you today? I brought my two teachers, my two moms, my brother, and my uncle. All right, wave your hand, family. <laughs> and what do you like to do for fun? I like to play with my brother and practice Taekwondo. Awesome, awesome. Now, your story was about being a peacemaker. And a little girl goes back in time and meets Pocahontas to make peace between the Indians and the colonies. I can tell that you don't like conflicts, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can tell. So are you a peacemaker at school? Yeah. Try to be somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, how do you feel about being an author? I feel happy, excited, and proud. Wonderful, wonderful. You should, because you wrote an amazing story, and the judges really enjoyed it. So what I'm going to do is give you your story, your certificate, and your ribbon. Thank okay, you. you're welcome. <laughs> Our fourth grade first place is Lily Mara Howe. Lily, who did you bring with you today to My help you celebrate? Family. Your family. Mm -hmm. Wave your hand, family. <laughs> awesome. What do you like to do for fun? Sing in the Virginia Children's Chorus and draw. Oh, my yeah. goodness. We have a singer. Okay. Awesome. Now, in your story, you wrote a story about a dog who was determined to complete any challenge that he faced. Mm. Now, are you a determined per person like your character? Kinda. Kind yeah. of? <laughs> well, you know, there's an old saying that says, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Mm. Yes, and that's what your character did. Uh, he didn't give up, did he? No. No, he, he did, did not. not. So, how does it feel to be an author? Good. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> well, you should be proud. You should feel good because the judges really enjoyed your story. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you your ribbon and your, your original story and your certificate. Thank you so much. <laughs> Our next winner is second place, fifth grade, Kate Broughton.
Kate, who did you bring with you today? I brought my parents, my sisters, and my teacher. <clears throat> okay. Kate, what do you like to do for fun? I like to um, read, write, and draw. Okay. All right. Now, you wrote a story about a person who really was attached to a tree, and they really didn't want to see that tree cut down. But they were really happy when the tree was replanted. Have you ever planted a tree? Yes, I have. You have? OK. Well, that's a wonderful thing, because we need to keep our trees, don't we? Awesome. Well, you know, how do you feel about being a published author? I like it. You like it? You should like it, and you should be proud, because the judges really enjoyed your story. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you your story. Uh. And your certificate and your ribbon. Congratulations. Thank you. Our fifth grade first place winner is Lucy Lapatina. <laughs> Lucy is unable to be with us today, but um, she wrote a creative story about Lent from the dryer. <laughs> and she discovered the mystery of those missing socks. <laughs> Let's give Lucy a hand. <laughs> well, our contest allows our students to be very creative, to write about um, just write about different subjects, whatever they want to write about. But in the past few years, we have given students the option of choosing to write an environmental story, which is part of the Batten Environmental Initiative. So at this time, I would like for you to help me recognize and congratulate the following students for being our overall environmental winners. Our first environmental winner is the winner for grades kindergarten through first grade, Charles Chase Harris. <laughs> okay. Are you, are you ready, aren't you? <laughs> Who did you bring with you to help you celebrate? My grandma's one of my teacher, my sister, my mom, and dad. Raise your hand, family. Awesome. Well, Chase wrote a story about spies and a scientist. And they were investigating ways to save the savannah from the robots. And that. And the bad guys, yes. Do you think that you would make a pretty good spy? You think so? Because I know karate. Oh. He knows karate. <laughs> so he's going to make a good spy. Well, how do you feel about being an author? Super good. Super good? You should <laughs> feel super good because the judges really enjoyed reading your story. And I get a special award, I get a green one. <laughs> yes, you do. So, with that said, I'm going to say congratulations. <laughs> and I'm going to give you your special 
Oh, Ward. <laughs> for environment and your story. <laughs> our next environmental winner for our second and third grade is Nora Connery. Nora, who did you bring with you today to help you celebrate? My mom, my dad, and my brother. Wave your hand, family and friends. Awesome. Now, what do you like to do for fun? Play softball and draw and write stories. Play softball, draw, and write stories. You're pretty busy, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, you wrote a story about a mystery guessing game. And the dolphins had to guess what object was floating in the water. Well, Mr. Smith already gave answer, didn't he, to what it was. Mm -hmm. Can you tell them what it was again? A plastic bag. Plastic bag. Now, do you like to play games? Yeah. You do? OK. How do you feel about being an author? Good. Good. Well, you know what? You should, because you wrote an amazing story, and the judges really enjoyed reading it. So thank you so much, and congratulations. <laughs> so here is your ribbon, your story, and your certificate. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And our last environmental winner is Allison Boyer. <laughs> Allison, who did you bring with you today? Um, I brought my parents, my older brothers, and my teacher, and mm -hmm. my momo. Wave your hand, family. <laughs> Allison, what do you like to do for fun? I like to read, write, and draw. Read, write, and draw. OK. Now, this story was about animals, helping out animals during a natural disaster. And in your story, um, there was a drought. And the family, they figured out a way. They came up with a plan to restore the water so that the animals would survive. What did they do? They took water jugs and they filled them up and they like created water back into that creek. Okay. So that it wouldn't dry out. All right. I could tell you like animals. I do. You have, an, you have a pet at home? I do. I have four pets. Okay. Two well, dogs and two cats. Wow. Well, how did you feel about being a, an author? Amazing. It's amazing. Just... You should feel amaz amazing because. The judges really enjoyed reading your story. And right now, I want to congratulate you and give you your certificate, your ribbon, and your story. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you. Let's give all of our winners, our first, second, and honorable mention winners, a hand. And I want to give a big thanks to our wonderful, wonderful WHRO staff. Our education, production, and marketing teams all work together tirelessly to help make this event possible. So I don't want to leave them out. Now let's give all of you a hand. Moms, dads, family, friends, teachers, caregivers, school leaders. We have some school leaders in the house. Yes. <laughs> 
thank you so much for your support because without you supporting this, this event would not be possible. So what I want you to just, I want to just thank all of you so much and I want you to have a wonderful evening. I hope that I will see you back next year. Thank you so much. And have a good night.